Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Hey, what's going on, guys? Me, Camilla, we're here, and we are back on Wild SMP. Ooh. Hello, Sinjin. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. I am just getting some stuff prepped before we get fully into the stream, but welcome, welcome. But today's going to be a very interesting one. We get some campfire stories being told today, so... And yeah, I'm really excited for all the content creators that are going to be doing this today. It's going to be really fun. But yeah, how are you? How's everyone today, honestly? It's a lovely Friday. We're just vibing in the Ritz car. I'm prepping for a nice vacation next week. That's going to be great. I've been doing a vacation for work, so I am excited to get to that. Ooh. Uh, do do do. What am I doing? Okay. Ah, frick. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting stuff prepped on my end. So apologies. Huh. I'm still prepping out some stuff because I want to show you guys some stuff that we've been doing. Sorry, I'm drinking boba because uh, I made boba. I felt like it. It's been a busy week, so we got boba. Hello, hello, Tori. Hello, hello. How is everyone's lovely? How's every lovely person here doing today? I got chew on my boba because I'm hungry. Mm. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Wait, we're waiting for people to go sleep on the server because, uh, yeah. I chew boba now. Mm. Oh god, there we go. I am chewing boba. But yeah, um, but yeah, today guys, we're doing campfire stories, and I am excited. So, yeah, sorry, we're literally waiting for one person to go AFK or sleep, and they are not. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's who it was. It's just like it's annoying when that happens. No, I have more books. Where the fuck did I put my books? Sorry. Like, um, I'm enchanted some books before we get back into the grind, and I don't know where I put all the books I had. Cause I had them somewhere. I might need to quickly make some books before stream. Huh. Okay. Plan B. I'm gonna quickly- I guess we could do this on stream. I was gonna do it off, but we're gonna do it right now. Why not? So, welcome to the live scene, boys. Where we'll most likely be changing to a spookier outfit later, but yeah, um, we got some good books going on. Wait, what's- what's that? That's volume three? Okay, where is it? Uh, we got so many books to go with. We're not playing any music right now, just because of the fact it's gonna be all spooky. Which, by the way, chat- we're going to be doing something amazing in a second. So, for example, okay, so we need to take this and this, for example. We are going to finish up this set that I need. That makes prop four. It's got Feather Falling three, but I did see a Feather Falling uh, four book that I had gone. I want to see if I can find that again. Uh, where is it? Do, 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 do. But now I want my Feather Falling book that I just got. Feather Falling 1. Feather Falling 4. Four. So. Let's see. How much is going to cost to upgrade? Oh my god, 19 levels. Damn. But worth. Okay. So. We got all this. Um, what is it? You gotta do something. Um. 
Uh, we are going to do something pretty cool. I just need to find what it's called again. Uh, uh, do what I need to get. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Uh, oh, I need to make a smithing table. How do I make a smithing table real quick? Uh, okay, I'm looking at this recipe. Oh, that's easy. Okay, we're going to quickly make a smithing table, guys. So we are going to need a few planks. So, aha, there you go. One, two, three, four. And then two iron. As you see, I have been busy mining. Um, and also contacting Para, for example, who's been helping me a shite ton. As you can see, we got the goods. And it's time. I have been working on this for a while. So, guys. We are finally doing it. We are making our netherite set officially. And full netherite set. And now let's get our sword done. There's our sword. There's our pickaxe. And then for the meme, we found this god ho that we are going to do it to as well. Which has an <laughs> that's another special enchantment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we officially have another ride ho. It's great. It is great, but that means we get to retire this armor that we worked so hard to get and put on. Our netherite set. So we are officially full netherite, boys. Okay, so let's just take this. We're gonna put that up. Uh, we're just, I'm just organizing my shit right now. But uh, yeah, I think I've showed off the entire um, organization of the new estate. So yay. Did I put on my sounds? Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, we are good. I was just making sure my sounds were working properly. Because I do not trust myself at all. So let's do that. Uh, we need to put up this stuff. Also, um, Para came over and gave me some flowers. So nice. Um, we got some wool, which um, this is like a special setup area for when we deal with wardens. Which, for fun fact, uh, my um, areas evolved and uh, we did find something. In my area, which I'll show off real quick. Oh, great. I don't have night vision. But yeah, as you can see, we found another deep dark area in my place. So, uh, yeah, uh, the, the ward encounter is at three now. We are at three wardens in my strip mine. It is great. It is just swell. But yeah, uh, we can put up this guy here. I'm just trying to get my stuff organized really quickly. I think the next thing I need to do is work on like a crossbow and all that stuff, but we're making good progress. I mean, it's it's like a legit. Uh, but of course, we need to also appreciate the axolotls. Like, look how cute they are. Okay, where's Piss? We need to find Piss. Piss is the bluster of good streams. Uh, where's Piss? Okay. Okay, sad. Okay, we need to find Piss! Also, guys, don't forget, we do have the axolotl claim still. So if you guys want to name an axolotl, we still have that um, for our channel rewards. So make sure to check that out, guys. Where is Piss? Piss, are you here? Nope. That, that, that's Chatter. 
Oh, wait. That's our key. Shatter. Piss! We found piss! Okay, so right now I'm just, um, uh, I think we're gonna be getting a uh, summoning from someone in a second, hopefully. Uh, oh, wait, I lost piss. No, I lost piss. No, I lost piss. Where's piss? We need to find piss. Let's find piss. Where is piss? Where is piss? Where is piss? Where's piss? Where's piss? I lost Hello? piss. Hello, I lost piss. I'm trying to find piss again. Oh, 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 no. Oh, I'm being surrounded by axomolotls. Deal with it. Where are you, piss? Where's, piss was where, here. Where, where's piss? Where's piss? piss, piss we gotta was find here piss. a second ago. I found piss, then piss ran away. There's chatter. Wait, 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 wait. Who's this? Who's this? Oh, I, okay, that wasn't a name. Where, where, where are they? We're trying to find them. We must find piss again, piss. Piss. Wait, wait, wait. I saw a name. Did you piss! go up here? Piss? Where? Piss, 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 piss. All right, piss, cool. Piss, piss. piss, piss. Piss. Hello, piss. piss. <laughs> Praise be piss. Piss, the bluster of good streams. Oh man, I already, I already told my chat about the bread thing, and some, right. someone already redeemed it. Oh, we can. Everyone have... was okay. Yeah, we can, we can go to the campfire now. So yeah. let's uh, oh, yeah. we're do. We're gonna you do. Like what I got? Oh, uh, what? Oh, you got netherite. Nice. Yeah. I also, I was smart. I did this. You're not wearing your skin. I'm gonna put it on later. Oh yeah, that's right. Spoiler alert, everyone. Yeah, all right, so, okay. all right, so do we want to head to the the campfire now? Yeah, I'm warping there. It's convenient that my music just ended just now because we're about to switch yeah. over to some more I creepier think there's some, music. Yeah, I think there's some music that they're playing during it too. Do you want to go pop in the campfire time call? Uh, yeah, sure, we can go pop okay. over there. Pop. Where's where's the campfire time? It's it's above us. All right. It's fine. Okay. Hello. 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 We, Hello. we were blessed by piss, okay. so uh, we're okay. here now. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the campfire. Uh, I'm gonna go to the campfire set now. Hello, oh. Justin. Hello. Ooh, spoopy. Yeah, I helped. Very spoopy. I helped with special I, things. I, we got I tents helped. and all that good jazz. Yes. Oh, that is that it over there? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's see. Also, oh, we're joined by Noi. Uh, oh, did you put you put shriekers around? <laughs> yeah. That's good. Also, hello, Abony. It was a nice attempt, but I saw you at the corner of my eye. Oh. Noi, you have a very you have a very part nice. Is, skin. I told Para that. Mm -hmm. Para, Para, I told Nova before this that we found a um, deep dark underneath your place. Uh oh. So this is gonna be even better. Free food, don't be greedy. Free food, oh, she's free gonna desserts. be terrified. You know what? I think totally I have the goat horn with me. Thank you for I the goat the horn. Volume. Goodness yes. gracious. Goat horn! What am I missing here? What is going oh. on? Oh. Hi, Nova. Hello. What's, I have arrived. What's, what's, the, what's, the, what's the sound level for the shriekers? Campfire. Oh, oh it's, it, it's blocks. It's blocks. Okay. Yeah. What is all of this? Hello? This kind of looks like the Percy Jackson camp, almost. Camp Half Blood. Yeah, Camp Half Blood entrance. I kind of like it. Ancient it's cool. wishing bell. Hi. Okay, we got some tents. Hello. Nice. Tents. I hope it's okay if I jump in. <laughs> Just do slash warp uh, campfire, then it will take you there. Yes. Slash warp. My chat's going Ooh, crazy now that we bags? mentioned Percy Jackson. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. oh ooh. okay. I saw Hello. Hi! Oh, there you are. Hello. Oh, no. <gasps> Who has a model in your head? Oh yes. ah. Hello. I just got hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, noise. Yeah, noise hitting on you. Noise stop hitting, hitting on me? poor poor Nova. Oh, we roll well, more then. spoopy. No, give me a one odd so I can on get you. more spoopy. Spoopy? Yeah. I can get we more spoopy. More spoopy? More spoopy. Oh, God. I don't want more spoopy. Ooh, you look like a ghost. Just Go give me one I second. I am a ghost. This is my... Bunny, are you oh, here? You're a oh, ghost. you're a bunny. Yeah, Hi, boy. Oh, yeah, that's ah! Bunny is where? Where's Bunny? Screamed. 
I am here. Who? What is this scoop? Spooky You're noise. Beautiful. And we also have we have the banshee here. Oh. The There's banshee. a zombie. <laughs> He's just vibing. Let him vibe. I'm not letting him vibe. He must die. You didn't let him pass as the soon vibe as check. I spawned here. I. I saw, I saw the zombie coming closer, so I decided to leave him alone. Well, why, why is it so spooky? You're welcome. It's so hi, spooky. Hi, 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 Lee. I've got my own music, Ooh, so I can just turn off. <laughs> free food? Free drinks? Why is it so creepy? Don't, don't be greedy. I love how each one says, don't be greedy. Wait, yeah, I I them. <laughs> oh, wow. Bread. I want at least one of everything. Para, why I'm is it so a creepy? Vodka. Well, I well dessert. I'm food. taking a cake. I'm taking a cake. I am not hitting on Nova. No. <laughs> Aww, Chat, why no. Not? No. Oh, what's this over here? Lazy Camp River. Your skin. Oh, what is going I'm on? I'm a banshee. It's a, she, she's a banshee. A banshee. Ghost. I was not told that we were dressing up for this. Hey, I decided I was gonna do it, then they decided that they were gonna do it, then Noi decided they were gonna do it, and then Avani said they were gonna look, do look, it. Kid. Wait, we're you dressing! Look, no, you're not the you're only one dressing me. Dressing. If you want to, if okay, you hold want on, to. You know, what? you know what? I'm dressing up. <laughs> well, <laughs> there goes the whole thing. Welcome to the party for days. Hi, Rachel, by the way. Oh, well. I got that achievement. <laughs> well, now, now you can get the sneak 100 achievement. Oh wait, if you, if you're yeah. here. You can just right click the. A... You can right click the uh t the, the stair. Oh, okay. Stair. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. Um, that's the wishing bell so over there. There's so much chaos going on. How many I wish so much wish. wish. Hey, oh, no, I can up. tell. Hi. <laughs> I wish for a pet unicorn. I wish for more friends. Uh, I wish for cake and cookies. I wish. I for a wish for more boba oh, and so mad bitches. Very oh, I do not burn alive. We do I not wish for hella day. bread. <laughs> what is going hella on? Hella bread? What's oh. hella bread? Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> this is just chaos right now. <laughs> is that a CD oh, playing? Possibly. Yes. I'm, I got my own music. Or it's so just my, 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 just my chat's about to be horrified with the song choice that I got. Turn that I gotta turn it down too. I'm gonna yeah. turn it down. We're gonna use our own music. There you go. Okay. Chat, I'm about to. I'm about Hello, to play, everybody. I'm about Gets to on you. I have all the music sounds turned down. How's it going, everyone? <laughs> I'm being roasted. I'm so excited I've... by all. People are trying. Camping trip! Yay! Yeah, no. Yay, camping trip. Where's marshmallows? <laughs> we love camping. Where's the oh, s'mores? Oh, shoot. Who has the s'mores? Yeah, where's the s'mores? Are you cake? saying there's no s'mores? I have pork cake. Chop. Oh, we have pork chops, I guess. Why am I still uh, hearing skewers? Smoke? 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 Food and whatnot over there. I'm still hearing smoke sensors. I'm not ones. liking that. Uh, uh, turn okay. turn down block noises. Okay, we're gonna turn that down. Yeah, gonna turn that down. Oh. I made special Food, drinks. drinks dessert. Get out special of the fire, drinks. boy. <laughs> I'll, I'll take Don't the special drink. I do. I'll take the special drink as well. This is quite the chaotic setup. Yes. Ooh, Don't trust me in arson. Oh, oh no, Pear, we're about to be attacked. How can we even do that? Fire spread us off. Woo! You guys, I don't feel so good. Let's go. <laughs> I think I, I drank the drink too fast. Oh, so did I, I think. I have vodka and cake! Yeah, we're kind of taking all of this. Yeah. Vodka. I have vodka. Anybody I'll share this cake with you guys. Hell yeah. Let's go. And I got this one too, so whenever that one's done, I can just put down another one. Me too, I have I have a few actually. Cake. Hey. Oh, I'm just holding that totem. Cake. So, uh Yay! it's a cake party! Okay. I love the cake. Oh. oh. I I got slowness. I can't I have mining fatigue. Oh. Well isn't that so? <laughs> Don't drink the vodka. <laughs> vodka, <laughs> vodka. I wonder I wonder no, what's Are you okay? Are you fine? Those. I don't know. I don't know if I'm okay. I don't think you can get high from vodka. I don't think that's how it's it works. It's okay not to be okay. I think we need a doctor over here. So, someone in my chat said it spiked. <laughs> Somebody spiked the drink. Uh, who was the one who made this? Who was the one who made this? Not me. It was Para, I swear.
It was Para? It's why you should bring your own stuff. This why you bring your old stuff. What the heck? I totally did not supply the food and the drinks. What? Hey, <laughs> nice skin. Nice. I threw away the trash in the fire. Hey, so. You threw the trash into my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh, nothing. I wasn't blaming you for anything. Sorry. That was definitely. Okay. Yeah, I'm totally just... not blaming you for spiking the drinks or anything. I'm totally not. Oh, that was Cam. Totally Cam totally. made the drinks. I didn't <laughs> keep the drinks. <laughs> okay. no, that, was not... yeah, that was not me. I did not make the drinks. I just provided the, the ambiance. Who has the milk? No one has milk. Got milk? Yeah, yeah, no There's no milk. You just, you you just no gotta wait it out. Any. You just gotta wait it out. I already okay. okay. waited it out because that was the minutes. first ones I drank it. <laughs> no, I sit down. <laughs> so we got a campfire <laughs> time. I am yeah. roasting pork chops here. There's, <laughs> There's food in there. <laughs> I wanted not All my hard pork labor. Chops. I didn't pay for this food for nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if he doesn't take it, I'll take it. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite thing about a campfire trip? Uh, 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 s'mores! Trip. I agree, s'mores. the s'mores. S'mores? <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, the... But there's still s'mores here, so that disappoints me. Yeah. Minecraft, fix your stuff! <laughs> Minecraft adds s'mores to the game. What, what's wrong with you? I mean, they what have chocolate chip cookies. You guys? Like, might as well. Exactly, might as well. Chat, add chat, more. chat, you can, chat, you can go ahead and answer that question as well. Yeah, what's your guys' favorite um, parts? Chat, what's your guys' favorite oh, part Alice about... Alice, chat. Yeah, all, all of the chats. The chat. All the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Oh my goodness. No, I will not get away from the fire, Galaxy. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Noi. Fire galaxy, you tell him. Noi, look at me. <laughs> Among us. Among us. Among us. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... We got some imposter stories. Ghost stories! For tonight. That's my favorite part as well, is ghost stories. So do, who, who who here has a ghost story to tell? How do we want to do this? Use Google. Who, who wants to start? What? Mm. Google. Google. No. Oh. Your own stories. It has to be real life ghost stories here. Oh god. So, um... Oh, it has to be real life? Yes. What? Yeah, yeah, it, it makes it makes it makes it more immersive, you know. I was just gonna wing an improv one. <laughs> you could. Hey, I was going to do. If you, could, if you want I can to, only you can. Imagine. But if you want to, you can. Imagination. But I, I would try to keep it as, uh, you know, I would try to keep it as real as possible. I have so, an actual like. Sajin, real, that's real not one. a ghost story. Be a ghost story Ooh, that's like not suggesting? like. Wait, buddy, worry. Oh, you're right there. Okay. I'm Bob Kayla, he's my buddy for the night. <laughs> okay. What if it's not a personal oh, story, but it's like one that you like one of your family members have been through? That's fine. It oh, has to be real, so Okay. It's one that's happened to me. Okay. Buddy, do you wanna go first? So a bit of backstory. My family is very into supernatural stuff and I'm I actually see ghosts. Oh. So oh, ghosts. Ghost. True fact. True fact. Oh, yeah, Sydney okay. can Sydney can say. Right, but so yep, I, I vouch for that. <laughs> when when I was younger, my uh, there was two instances. One uh, was when I went swimming. Uh, I don't know how to swim, and I will never learn how to swim because of this incident. And so I was walking in the shallows. It was at this giant lake that my family goes to to just kind of hang out. And I felt something grab my leg, and then I look down, and there's a severed hand, and then I just go under. And then I wake up and I'm on the shore and my dad's like, "Are you okay?" And it's like, "I don't think so." Oh no! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I I wouldn't well, be after that. That's I'd very be... creepy. Oh. This reminds me yeah. of things. I'd be terrified. <laughs> <laughs> but that's crazy. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Yeah. What about what about you said you had two? Yeah. It's so the so second crazy. one was at my old house we used to live in. Uh, I was playing outside alone, which I never do anymore. <laughs> Oof. And, Fair. uh, for me, it just looked like a normal person walked up to me, and I just started talking to them. And my mom's like, who are you talking to? And I was like, the charcoal man. And she's like, the, the what? The charcoal man. And then the charcoal man hit me, and then I bit him, and he tastes like charcoal, and I did not appreciate it. 
What? <laughs> what? Oh, that, that, is, that is one hell of a story. I just like that. Yeah. So basically, he was. So, all right. So hold on. So basically, he was like from a barbecue. What? Uh, for the best way I can describe it is he Whiskey. looked like he was like a coal miner. Oh, coal miner. Yeah. Oh, coal uh, miner. Oh. Interesting. Okay, okay. How do you get something that's like not physically there? That's my. It takes question. a lot of energy. I slept the rest of the day. <laughs> Oh, Damn, you even fair enough. Dude, you're lazier than I am. Say that's lazy? Oh. I would just say that's more Wait, don't so... Be mean. Yeah. I'm looking no, at you, That's Lee. a compliment, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Whatever. then. Um, I might have one. That's interesting. You have one? Do you have one? I think so. I don't know if it counts as a ghost story, but it was really weird and, like... I guess it could be like seen as paranormal. Is, is it is apparent? Yeah, is it like along the lines of paranormal? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think, so. I, I think that should count. And like geez, paranormal is. We cannot all get that. into the booty bandit story. No. Okay, I will be right back. I have to do five. Oh no. Minutes. I'll be right okay. Back. Okay. So, um, little I guess backstory as well. I live like in the middle of the woods. I don't have many neighbors. I have like two. Um, so. Can I be your neighbor? Oh no, they're um, back! Everyone scatter! <gasps> Hi, Phantoms! Phantoms are here. Hi, Phantoms! Bedtime! Bedtime! They love to get Why a me? Hug. Guys, go to bed! Oh, oh, wait. Oh, the bed. Tents. Wait, where's the beds? Where's to the, the bed? tents! <laughs> the tents! To the tents! Uh, I know about Hi! I'm saving my Eight feet. people! Oh, no. Two more! What? Two more people! Go to the tents! The tents, the tents, there's beds. The phantoms are attacking. Either that or do slash AFK. Yeah, that could work too, but. We're ready for one? Bunny! 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 Bunny, stop moving. Bunny! Yeah, okay! when there's things attacking. Alright. That's why we have the tents. That's why we have the tents. Um. They're still here. Oh god. Okay. They came, they came over to give us hugs. Should I just temporarily turn it peaceful for now? Yeah. It's up to you. Uh, yeah, that's up to you. Yeah. Temp it would let me forget about it, though. We'll Please. remind. Everyone. Okay. We'll, we'll remind you. We'll remind you. <laughs> Everyone look at me. Especially knowing Dave. Anyways. <laughs> oh, Everyone you look seen. at me. What? Everyone look at me. Screenshot time? Yep. Peace sign. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Tads. Woo. It's just, it's just for the thumbnail. Epic. Aww. Okay. So okay. you were right, saying. Go, go, yeah, go on, Sol. Okay. So I live in the middle of the woods. Um, there's like, um, we have like a lot of wild animals. And I mean like a lot. Like you can be sitting out on the porch and like deer and coyotes and foxes and stuff will just like come up to you or run across the yard. It's really neat. Oh. Um, but basically, um, I think it was like my 13th birthday. Um, I had a whole bunch of friends over and, um, we had just. I don't, I don't, we watched an episode of Supernatural, so I guess it kind of put the idea of, oh, spooky into our minds. Um, I'm, like, really chicken. I'm, I'm big chicken. So, um, our house, like, my whole family is like, oh, yes, ghosts are real. Ghosty ghost. And so, oh. you know, we believe that our plot of land is haunted. Um, and so, basically, <laughs> what happened was this particular night, um, I had, a, like, I think it was, like, six other girls. And we were all, like you know, sleeping at my house, and yeah. my best friend and then another one of my friends were out on the in the living room on the couch, and there was this, like, it was like a light-up ball, kind of, but somehow it rolled into the living room and started, like, flashing, and then my what? best, yeah, it was really weird, but it gets weirder because my best friend, um, so I have a lot of dolls. I collect, like, antique, like, uh, like, you know, porcelain dolls. Um, and... Creepy. Oh, God, don't say that. <laughs> uh, dolls. Oh, God. <laughs> One of my friends, she she starts sleep-talking. And um, another one of my friends, we'll call, we'll call her uh, Lou. Lou, she was, um, she was like, she was still awake. And um, my best friend started sleep-talking. And she, like, starts mumbling words and stuff. And one of the words that my friends, like, there were several words, among of which is doll, and was, like, run and stuff. And it was really weird. And so my my friend came, like, running into our room, and she, she was crying, because she was freaked out. Um, oh, God. 
And, like, this particular friend is, like, one of the, like, most, like, brave and, like, stand-up type people. Like, she's, like, one of the strongest people that I know. And so the fact that we saw her crying was, like, really weird in itself. And yeah. so um, she was like, I'm just gonna sleep in your closet, you know? That's, yep. And so she slept in my closet, but she didn't know that that's where I, you know, that's where I keep my dolls. So, oh my god, no. <laughs> um, she, she claims the next morning that when she woke up, there was one, like, in the corner looking at her, which is weird, because I have them on the shelf. And so, you know, it was just a really oh weird, like, series of events that were just, you know, it was, it was very entertaining after it happened, though. Yeah. Oh, man, man, that's, oh, that's that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was definitely something. That is really Ooh. Spooky. Okay. All oh, right. Damn, geez. damn, that that's terrifying. Yeah. That is terrifying. All right, I think spooky. All right. I I I I have two stories, but I'll I'll only say one and then I'll let someone else uh, you know, do their story. So, I um, could do mine after yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll do that then. Yeah. All right. So, um for those who are not aware, um I'm not just a content creator uh, and all that stuff. I do several other things like commission work and uh, I do voice acting jobs and all that stuff. And one thing I like oh. to do, one thing I like to do on the side as a hobby, uh, more or less as a hobby, not as a job, because, you know, it's not really a job is uh, paranormal investigations. And the reason I got into these is because of some particular events that happened to me when I was, um, when, I was around, when I was around seven to nine years old in between that time span. And both of the stories I have um, are set within that time frame. But for a little bit of backstory, I lived in a uh, I lived in a outskirts neighborhood in the town that I grew up in. And um, we lived in this. Uh, I lived me, and my mom and a lot of other people, including my brothers and my sister, lived with um, lived with my sister's dad at the time. And he's uh, he's kind of got a lot of money, so he's got a big house and. When I when I described that this house looked Victorian and whatnot, I mean Victorian. It was there was a lot of bricks, a lot of gothic designs and all that stuff. But there's this one particular part of the house that is um that ha that has a long hallway. It's a long hallway. And where it leads to is um there's three doors on the side. Um two that go into separate rooms and one that goes into a closet. But at the very, very end of the hallway, it leads into the garage. And for the entire time that I grew up there, I never went in the garage. Um, we never really used it anyways. So it was kind of just that vacant area that we never went into. Nowadays, it's definitely different because I don't live there anymore. But um, um, a little more backstory. Um, my mom is um, she's she's had like this. Um, she's had this like, you know, connection to the supernatural ever since she was like my age at the age of seven. And uh, she claims that she claims a lot of things. And she also claims that my grandfather did exorcisms for a living. And so, well, not necessarily a living, but you know what that means. And so um, there was this there was this one instance where she had claimed that while she was looking for a new house, um, there was this eerie feeling to this house that she had. And um, she had asked the realtor um, or the real estate agent if the place was haunted. And they, without hesitation, they apparently said yes. They said it was very much haunted. And as soon as she she heard that news, she stepped away from the house that she was trying to buy. But what really makes this a little more scarier is the fact that she told all of us that she thinks whatever was from that alleged haunted house has followed her home. Ooh. And the thing about it is, is that in in some mythologies and in some religions that can be the case sometimes you can attract an unwanted spirit and there's several ways you can ward them off but unfortunately she didn't know how to do that so she had started claiming that our house had been a, subjugated to an unwanted spirit specifically an evil spirit not necessarily a demon but a spirit that wanted to do us harm and she had made these claims so many times. She had so many experiences and some of them that she told me downright, like they chill me to the bone because, you know, my mom, if there's one thing that she isn't, it's she's not a liar. I can definitely tell you right now that she tells you these stories. She always has this look of horror on her face as if she knows what she saw. But where my experience comes into play is um, um, at, I, at the time of this happening, I didn't have an experience yet. But several of my family members did. I know my sister did. 
my newly born brother did and whatnot because they would start crying at random things for no reason like they weren't hungry or anything they were just crying and stuff like that after being put to sleep and um my mom obviously my mom had a lot of experiences but um on this one day our power got knocked out because of a because of a thunderstorm that had passed over so our power was out and we had nothing but the fireplace and some flashlights to light up the area and being in a big home that's like very victorian-esque there's a lot of dark places and whatnot and when i was when i was around that age i was very much scared of the dark like everybody was even my mom was scared of the dark and pile that with the fact that she claimed that a, like some sort of evil spirit was like lurking around us it didn't make it any better but um we we had all settled in the living room with only the fireplace to light up everywhere and it felt very eerie i will say that but what solidified this experience and this is what made me start investigating the paranormal because even i don't have an explanation for this and i know for a fact that you know i wasn't imagining things i was very much conscious about this but um one of the one of the uh batteries in our flashlight had ran out and so my brother um he told me to go fetch uh, some more batteries from his room now i'm okay with doing that especially nowadays but back then he was telling me to go get batteries from his room and his room was at the end of that hallway that big hallway that i was talking about oh, his no. his door was closest to the garage door and since the power was out the only thing that could light up the hallway was the dim moonlight so i didn't have a flashlight because you know obviously you know the flashlight had ran out of batteries so i had to go in there in the dark and so i started venturing over there and I didn't I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all because it was very scary. I, I I didn't like the dark at all, but I could I could see the hallway. I could see the hallway. It, it was just bright enough to where I could see it. So I start going forward and I start walking forward into this hallway, this long ass hallway. And right as I get to the closet where the closet door was, like I mentioned, which is the first door you you see. Um. I get this really, really chilling sensation. Like my whole body has just frozen over and I've never felt like this before and whatnot. And what happens next is something that still scares me literally to this day. And so I look over at the end of the hallway where, where the garage door is. There's no curtain on the garage door. There's a big window on the garage door, but it's pitch black after there. What happens next is what I can only describe is something trying to reach out for me is what I could best describe it as. Ooh. And so um, what happens is, is that there's this dark mist of some sorts that just appears right at the end of the hallway and it starts getting bigger and closer and closer. And from what I could make out, it looked like a person. It looked like someone was standing there. Like, and so I freaked out. I freaked out a lot. I was I was like literally eight to nine at the time or, or like somewhere somewhere around there because like it's it, it's it's hard to remember because I was I was so young at the time, but I remember it distinctively. So I instinctively ran out and, you know, obviously my family sees me run in in panic. And so they ask me what's going on. And I basically tell them I tell them, you know, um, there's someone in the hallway. Because at first, that's what I thought I was seeing. I thought I saw someone in the hallway. And it's not uncommon for that neighborhood to have people sneak around your house because it's happened before. I've seen it happen before. And so um, and so they, they come with me to the hallway and there's nothing there. Nothing. Completely nothing. Nobody. Not a person. And well, what scares me the most is like, because the thing about it is, is that my sister's dad at the time who was taking care of us he he didn't believe in any of this. He didn't believe the house was haunted. But um, when the power managed to come back on, my mom pulled me aside, right? And she asked me what I had seen. And I told her it was like a black mist, like a big pitch black mist. And it looked like someone was standing there. And she tells me, I've seen that same thing. That 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 thing stands in the corner of her room every night and watches her. Uh. And well, Ew. <laughs> and so 
you know, my mom, again, was pestering to my sister's dad that, you know, something has latched onto this house and something, something is here. But he never believed us. That was until he had an experience himself. He allegedly saw the same apparition. And ever since then, he was convinced that that house was haunted. And we eventually moved out of it. But, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if whatever was latched onto us is, has still followed my mom. But ever since then, things have basically calmed down. Nothing has ever happened since then. But that was the experience that led me to actually look into the paranormal. Because, you know, there's just some things I couldn't explain and whatnot. Um, so, very yeah, fair. That's, yeah, that's my that's my first story. So interesting. That's a good interesting. story. What a story. No, it's it, it, it's like the plot yeah. of a Goosebumps episode, man. Yeah, I got, yeah. yeah. OK, I got Agreed. a I got a really short one and then a semi long one. Not the too crazy. Um, I'll tell the short one real quick because it should only take me like a minute to say. Yeah, so, go uh, basically. Um, back when I was in high school, I did dual enrollment at my local community college, and um, at that time, I was part of their production of Macbeth at the time. Um, I was one of the witches they had. They basically made it so it was like a full coven instead of like three witches, because of how many people there were. And um, Oh my so, god, I remember those. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk about it, dude. <laughs> go on, go on. Right. Um. Anyways, um. Basically, so I'm like, like this is like um high schooler camp, just going in practicing her lines in um in my room and all that. Uh, fun fact: if people don't know this, the stuff in Macbeth, it's kind of, it's it's not uh, make believe or pretend what you're reading for the witches. Oh. Which I didn't know at the time. So I'm practicing, making sure I get those lines good, making sure I can get it on point. <laughs> um, at, so at that time, I like had my desk set up. So one day, I'm just relaxing. And I'm like, oh, I need to go get a drink. So um, at that time, I had a mic stand that kept like moving on its own, and I had a uh, chair that had like a like a back vibrating thing, so that I could like massage my back and all that at the time. And it's like really hard to flip the switch and all that. I have to practice for that. So I leave my room, go get a drink, I come back. My um my mic has moved. That's fine. It usually moved on its own anyways because of just how heavy the mic was. My uh monitors were off. Normal, that means they most likely fell asleep or something. The chair was on. What? The chair was, the chair was on. I don't, th I don't think you've ever told me this story I thought either. I told you it. Yeah. This happened before uh, you came in. But yeah, it's like, it, that happened. And I literally told my mom, like, Mom, I did not turn that on. And then she taught me how to basically anoint my bedroom so that nothing would come back into my room. Oh, Dude, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You've never told me that story. That's yeah. actually new to me. That is Dude, the short I... story. The quick but, long story that I got. Bro, I, I I tried to get a priest and try to exercise that room as fast as possible. <laughs> yeah, I that's technically kind of what I did. That's what I kind of learned how to do. Yeah, yeah. Early prayer. Who has a battle horn? <laughs> what does that mean? That would be prayer. I wonder. My final ghost hmm. story. It's really good. This was really interesting. Justin was actually he there when I this happened, kinda. So, um, fun fact, I grew up in Florida um, for most of my life until basically 21. So basically 20 years of my life I spent in Florida. There's this very haunted city in Florida called St. Augustine. where Oh, it yo, is... yo, I, I'm, I may know of that, actually. Okay, I will go back to the story. Okay, uh, anyways, uh, so it's like a really haunted place. Like, it is known for how haunted it is. Like, it has... The first ever Ripley's Believe It or Not, that that one's haunted too. Like, it is extremely haunted. So, um, anyways, uh, me, Justin, and my mom went on a vacation there, and we decided to splurge a little bit of money and go on the St. Augustine ghost tour. There was a specific ghost tour for the lighthouse at the time. Very limited, hard to get in, but we got a slot where you could rent out K2 yeah. meters and you got glow sticks so that you could see around. 
uh, me and Justin had run out K2 meters just so that we could use them while uh, we were in there. So we go through the tour, which during the tour, the um, the K2 meters was going off, which was very interesting, seeing the ghost talk. And there was like a lot of history of different ghosts there. Like there's a specific one in the um, the lighthouse. I'm not going to get into that because it's not, the, it's not related with what I'm going to talk about. But there were these little girls that were, um, that died, um, there from basically, they decided to take, uh, this minecart system that they had so they could move bricks around and decided, you know what, this would be a nice little roller coaster before roller coasters were really a thing. So they get in, they ride it, and they rode it right into the sea and basically they drowned. And it said that they sometimes just like to play. Aww. So, um, we were allowed to roam free after the tour. And I got lucky, and I was, like, in the, um, basically, I forget what the term is off the top of my head. But it's, like, the main house for the person that runs the uh, house. Uh, the keeper's house. Yes, the keeper's house. Thank you. So, I got, like, the top floor all to myself. So... Like, there's no lights. It's only a glow stick lighting it at the time. So I decided to sit in there with the KT meter to see if, like, maybe I could talk to the little girls. Because the little girls like to talk to uh, the women there. They really like to do that. So I sat down my KT meter, had it on. Nothing was really happening. So I decided, you know what? They like to play. Might as well do this. So I take off the glow stick, which has been tied around me this entire time. Which I never took it off at all during the entire session besides then. Mm -hmm. I put it on there. I look away I say, hey, I'm going to look away for like 10 seconds. Feel free to do whatever you want with that. If you don't do anything, it's fine. No pressure. I count to 10. I look back. I notice nothing. So I'm like, okay. Nah, it's fine. So I just start walking around and all that. And uh, me and Justin decided to get a little bit of merchandise before we left. Um, mm. And that's when I took off the glow stick that I had put around my neck. And with this better lighting, I noticed... There was a knot that I never tied, and I do not even know how to tie that type of knot. What? Yeah, we we um yeah uh, we 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 still have that glow stick. Um, yeah. Um, I was in the room when that happened, and something that also had apparently uh happened was the uh the EMF meter or the K two meter, um oh. that we had rented out specifically cams. Uh, she set that on one of the benches that was in that room. And uh, when I had walked in, I had asked her, like she had picked up her glow stick and I had, I had asked her like, um, yo, where's your K2 meter and whatnot. And we couldn't see at all. So we, we, we turned on a flashlight that we had at the time and it was flipped over. It was flipped over on the same bench it was placed on. And she claims that she never placed it upside down. Oh. So yeah, there's, we still have that glow stick too. It like, we, we still have it and it's still got the knot in it. But it, and it, it it's not just any knot though it's like a perfect knot too like it would have been yeah. someone that had been out to sea or worked with people that were around the sea that could make that knot like i've never learned that type of knot a day in my life me neither so interesting i yeah. learned how to make knots when i was nine i was just uh yeah like 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 nova you um you tweeted out about the whole ghost experience thing yeah that's uh the St. Augustine Lighthouse. That so, was one of the places that I talked about. So if you ever go to St. Augustine and you're in the lighthouse at night, they just want to play. The little girls just want to play. No, it's it's but, not just them. They're, they, they, allegedly, there's like there's like six different ghosts that yeah. want that place. Yeah, there's bro, a few. I would, oh my. Bro, I would play the game of get your sorry ass out of the fucking house. They're, they're, nice, they're nice they're, ghosts. They're, they're not bad okay, ghosts. Okay, there's no... For, for clarification, at the lighthouse, there's never been a reported <laughs> bad incident it's not with the spirits. Like the, it's not like the jails. It, it's bro, it's, it's not like the jails, yeah. Bro, they're nice games. So <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think it's... Paris turn? Oh yeah. Yeah, go uh, on. Brian, no, you guys might want to go on the other on, on the chairs. I can't yeah. see. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. There you go. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, so when I was when, when I went back to the Philippines, um, when I in twenty twelve, I believe. Um there's these things called um aswangs. Um uh, it is uh it's uh it's it's like um 
It's a shape. It's a shape shifting um, evil creature um, that's usually told in Filipino folklore. Mm-hmm. Um. So, I just remember when we went to this place. Um, it's um I forgot what it's called, but um. It's a it's there. There's a beach um near where I live in in uh, the Philippines. So when we went over there, um, I just remembered that we were just walking we were just having a nice time on the beach it was nighttime probably the worst thing that we could have done was go at night um and i don't know if it was just my little kid imagination or if i actually saw something with wings but i just remembered seeing something walking across the horizon from where i was standing just walking slowly across just with giant claws and wings and these creatures are supposedly supposed to be oh sorry, fuck. Oh, sorry i have like my sensitivity is like really high right now <laughs> it's fine you're good <laughs> yeah you're good Vin. um but uh supposedly at that beach i actually didn't realize i didn't actually search look into this even more until i was around 16 15 years old um, but apparently at the beach that we had visited, um, apparently a family of four had died there, uh, oh. for, and the supposed cause was drowning, but it was never confirmed whether or not it was a drowning accident or if it was an actual paranormal, paranormal kind of, um, accident. Um, but from the autopsy, from what I saw, um, there was no, con- there was I don't think they released one, did they? No, they never released one, but they said that they drowned. Um, but from they did release pictures. If I could find them, I would. I probably would send them, but probably not on Twitch because that's kind of graphic. Um, but you could see that they have um, scratch marks on like their chest, and like um, one of the children were actually missing. Oh, and. Uh, it happened years before I had gone back to the Philippines, so I'm kind of glad it happened there. Um, and ever since then, I have been very scared to go back to that beach because I'm scared of seeing that winged, large clawed axe swing that people described. Oh, well, yeah. Mm. See, this is why I don't go to the death and Oh, the skulkers! Ah, uh, good old, good old cryptid story. That's that's nice, <laughs> actually. Yeah. No, I sit down so the skulkers go don't go off. Please. Yeah. Please. Thanks. <laughs> sit Man, I, down. I've always like I've always liked cryptid stories because cryptids are a part of the like the paranormal as well. Oh, if that was a cryptid story, then I have one. Um but if um who wants to go first? Can I just oh. say while I was listening to Paris story, all I heard was a weird like freaking noise come from upstairs. Like, oh, no. I'm, I'm home alone. I'm home Horror alone. Story right live. I had, like I had a very strange. It sounded like a fox, but it I, it was sounded like my dog, but also a fox at the same time. Like, boy, I know yeah, it's I, supposed to be a horror story, but I don't think freaky. we're supposed to be like having this actually, little horror story actually happening live. Yes, yeah, please, yeah. noise. Yeah. We started the ghost like, live. I mean, I'm like, I'm like oh, home alone right now, so like I'm kind of terrified. In Minecraft. I'm alone too, and I've had some weird experiences in this room, so I do not want I've, to I've summon also had anything. Weird experience in my room too. So. I am. A I also experience. have a spooky story time. Whenever, <laughs> Vibe. Whenever someone's ready. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Go yeah, ahead. Go, ahead go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So this happened uh, a long time ago when I was back in my high school. So we have this like little ghost visitor that visits our high school in a way, and it's most haunted in the auditorium. So yeah, fun times there. Um, but I don't really see, I haven't seen the ghost really, but I have uh, teachers that have to tell the tale of them witnessing the ghost and everything and its actions. So that's creepy. Um, every Halloween, they even tell, share the story and they even have like, um, have these kids sit on top of the little um, trap door that they have there, but that we never really use it because the ghost is most haunted there. 
but it's more haunted down in the sewer system. I don't know how that school system works, really. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but they would have, like, uh, these teenagers sit on top there and be like, oh, you should date that person because they're brave. Is, they're so brave just to sit on there just to feel the bump from down below. Yeah, it's very freaky, very creepy. I never gone there. I never choose to go there. And... <laughs> Well, I've gone, I've gone to that high school, but I never uh, did the that kind of experience because I'm like, I'm too scared to. <laughs> um, and yeah, so um, one of the stories that my choir teacher have uh, shared with us in class is a time when he was like, um, sorry, I'm kind of shaking right now. <laughs> I'm so <You're> nervous. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> it's okay. 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 <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, when I was like, okay, well, let me just restart. <laughs> Doing all these things out, out of the nerves. Time, all right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, let me just kind of like start, restart. Uh, so let's see. Um, when my teacher, like, uh, late at night is when the ghost is more active. So when pretty much like when the school is over, basically that's when it's more active once it's later at night, because it does like to visit the upstairs, well, not the upstairs, but out of the basement, basically from the school. <laughs> um, the, like my, my fire teacher have uh, locked the doors. Like they, they sometimes will have to like lock the doors from the cafeteria and things like that. And when he came back, doors was unlocked. So that's one of the spooky experience there. But it's like a friendly ghost, as I heard. Like a little girl, ghost girl. Um, there was like another time when my um, other teacher, which was like my theater teacher, which is um, he was doing like a, a lot of um, the play things. And that was like during the daytime when the students were uh, practicing for a play or something. And in the auditorium, there was no one else there he heard a little girl's voice calling his name. So, yeah. <laughs> and he asked all of his students, like, did you for, for my name? And he, they all said no, since no one else was not there besides the little ghost girl in the auditorium. So the auditorium is also one of the more haunted places where the ghost girl visits. And it used to be, like, farmland. And she died inside of the well. Um... And I believe that's pretty much like all I can remember from those story times at the moment. But there, there's a little bit more details. <laughs> but those are like the main experiences that I've heard of. So yeah, haunted, a haunted school that I've gone to in the past, but never saw the ghost. So I was very blessed with that. <laughs> Oh my god. Fun times. Yo, I, I've been into mm -hmm. haunted places myself, actually. It's uh You got an experience? Uh yes I do, actually. I didn't say it. Say it. Oh boy. Alright, so um there was this one time when I was like young, like fucking teen. Uh I vaguely remember this because it was like a while ago. So let's just say I was like um uh, fucking 14 or like 15 at the time when I was like a few like a couple of years into like moving into my uh my neighborhood because I used to live in a uh, another house back in the day in another neighborhood um there was this uh we would used to chill out with these uh group of people right uh, I was I would I would used to chill out with these people with my brother and other shit um so there was this one time where uh, we all keep talking about a certain house that is like literally down the street, like right across from me. Like there's there's a curve, like that goes to the left, and the um, the house is like near the uh, the end of the curve is where it's facing my house. Um, and I, I vaguely remember this, so it's gonna take me a while to remember. So I. Uh, we kept talking about it. We all kept like going down there sometimes, every time, to see if we can try to get some like activity going. We all would like sometimes fuck around and go near the house and shit. Maybe try to spook each other once a once a few times and shit. But the most 
scariest part was that we managed to get something in one Pacific photo, and I shit you not, it was not it it was not dust at all. I can tell you that. Because we all we all figure it was just bullshit at the time because we, we used to fuck around with each other all the damn time. So me being like, Oh yeah, I don't fucking believe that, dude, there's no fucking way that we actually got this shit on camera and this. Cause like I said, we literally just fuck around with each other and shit. But yeah, we did get a ghost orb on camera and Oh boy, and th and just to put this out there, we used to break shit in that house every time we get, and then I don't, I don't know. I, like ever since then, we stopped going into that house after some certain stuff happened and after the photo happened. And I should you not like when we did fuck around in the house, like, random stuff did get get broken, and it wasn't even us. And I was like, what the fuck. And certain stuff would be moving, and it wouldn't be us because we we have limited a limited number of uh, friends in this group. It would be like fucking four of us, including wait, was it six? Six of us, including my brother, at the time. And I I I still had no words for it to this day. I literally don't know what what was going on in that fucking house, and then. Years later, the house is getting like revenge. Like, three something. Uh, renovated. Yeah. yeah. Renovated. Yeah, it was getting renovated, and then a while later, new neighbors went into uh, went into the house. I haven't heard about any shit about it since. Huh. I mean, there's there's other experiences where I did experience random shit happen and it wasn't even me, my brother, or other people I was with. And oh fuck, it just scares the shit out of me when you are just literally standing still or just doing fucking nothing and just you just hear random shit. Like no names, no no just saying creepy messages and shit. Just random shit moving. Huh. And Interesting. There, there was other times that it actually happened out of state. Not in my neighborhood, like out of fucking state. Because, like I said, we, we sometimes fuck around, but when it gets to the point that it wasn't even us, we stop fucking around and actually not be in that place any longer. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm not even joking. It's actually serious. It, it actually happened. No, Para's messing with the. the... Skulk sensors. No, I was trying to give Bunny a berry, but it kept going back oh, to me. Okay. <laughs> I saw that. But yeah, it's matter, hilarious. Matter to the fact, I never fuck around with the port, like the, with the paranormal or the supernatural or whatever the fuck. I just worry about myself and just tell like my brother and my friends, like, "Hey, yo, this doesn't feel right. We have to like literally get the fuck out. I don't feel safe if random shit's gonna keep happening and it wasn't even me." Or my brother and my friends. And, um, I would too. Dude, I would not fuck around. I would actually get my sorry ass out of that fucking place. I I would not fuck around. Yeah. So Interesting. Uh, if there's a I reason why you don't shit. want to disrespect the dead. <laughs> but but still I, I I still have the photo of the fucking ghost orb. I, you should send it in the in the Discord I, chat. Well, actually, I can't find it because I'm gonna start I had new... actually. Well, actually, I can't find it actually because you know what? I I have a new phone. And I I'm betting on the uh the photo Sydney's on my on head. Phone. I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> <laughs> I walked up to the world. Hey. <laughs> Anyways, well, that was that's interesting. That's very interesting. Uh, define interesting. The ghost story. That you uh, guys know. Like um, yeah. No, but can you make a can you make a event can you make a pictures chat inside the the Yes. The... I was just putting it in the um, the, the mute chat for Yeah, I've got I've got a few pictures of uh, no, evidence no, that I've got from my mind. investigations. I I I'd, I'd be more than willing to upload <laughs> them. Oh. Yeah, look, I, I'm willing to share more of my experiences or well, a few that I did have back in the day, but I'm I'm not gonna really push it anyway. Yeah, that's yeah. fine, that's fine. Sorry. 
All right. That's interesting. Um, yeah. Who else wants to go? Do, do you guys want me to go? I, I vaguely remember mine, so... Some more, but I think other people should go first. Go. You want me to go? You guys want me go. to go? Okay. All right. Wait, I'll go after. So, okay, this event is all one event. And um, I'm just going to tell you guys right now, before this event, I never got into the entire paranormal thing ever. Uh, it never became a thing for me. Um, until after I went with my friend um, to this place. And then after that, it was... I'm not going to spoil it right away, but it was just terrifying. There was a lot of things that led up to this point. So, it first starts off with me and my friend, um, Chels, um and her cousin. Uh, they liked... Well, Chelsea is an empath when it comes to ghosts. She can see ghosts, too. And... Uh, she can also, like, sense them and everything. Um, and so can her cousin. Uh, her whole family is kind of like that. And um, they used to go... They don't go there anymore because after the one... I swear it's after this one incident when I went with them. They don't go to this place anymore because apparently a lot of bad, weird stuff keeps happening now. So they just don't go to it. But there was this place I went with this them once called Macam's Rock. Um... It's no one else has ever heard of it. It's just like a little place with like an abandoned train track. Um, and there's like a rock that apparently there's a lot of parties there that happen and all that crap. But um, when we went, it was just deserted. There was nothing there. It was just like gravel, a, a road that goes up to the train track and then it stops. Um, but you could hang out there if you wanted to because no one owns the property. We went there. Um, and that night we were also deciding we want to go drive around to, like, they wanted to go show me how they drive around to do graveyard, um, investigations and stuff like that. Because I had told them, like, ghosts are pretty interesting, but I've never dived into it. So it was kind of weird. Bro, so... I I didn't either until I just like went they didn't do anything bad either they just go there they sit there and they just sit and listen that's what they do that's all they do um and I was freaked out because I don't normally do this kind of stuff I just like I just sit in my room and play Minecraft <laughs> Girl, <laughs> Yay! so anyways um I went with them to this place um, and then, and then we went to the graveyard later at night and we just chilled out in the car. I just got very bad vibes in the car. Um, uh, I didn't want to look out the window cause I was afraid if I did, I'd see something I didn't want to see. Um, but it just, overall, this, the experience at that night, just something bad was there and it freaked me out. And they were like, you're freaking out about nothing. There's nothing there. But I was like, I felt something weird. Um, and my heart was racing. It might just be because I was scared. But still, I was like, not okay with it. So the entire time we were there, I was just hiding. Not looking out the windows of the car. <laughs> it was freaky. Oh my god. Um, but... For so Then uh, the next time I went over and hung out with them... We went to this place, um, and it, it's just me and Chelsea and then her cousin again. And it was this house that apparently they get some sort of, um, what's the word that I'm looking for, experiences there. Um, but we went there, um, and afterwards, I don't know what it was, but a lot of weird shit started happening to me. So, the first thing that happened was, uh, basically, I started having nightmares, um, throughout the entire rest of the winter season, um, cause this happened in the fall and then several months passed by and I had nightmares, and they were really dark nightmares. They were, um, basically... I would have dreams of family members being murdered or it was like as if it was like signs of something weird. Okay. 
uh, like premonitions or some shit. Like yeah, visions. but it was like my family. Um, but it was also like, I don't know. And every time I would wake up after these uh, nightmares, I would wake up at three thirty three a.m. Not kidding, straight three thirty three a.m. And <laughs> to this day, it still freaks me out that this leads up to this. So I wake up at those times. And then finally, some weird stuff starts happening in my house. Now, I had heard rumors that in the house that I currently live in with my parents that someone in this house did die from people that live in the na neighborhood. Um, but it is unclear of if they died at the house or they lived there and then, you know, went to the hospital or whatever. I don't know. Um, but ever since I came back from hanging out with Chelsea those times, I would start, when I would be alone in the house, I would start to feel very, very weird, like I was being watched. Especially my brother's bedroom, my brother Daniel's bedroom, which is right across from mine. Um, when I was would be home watching the house by myself, I would start looking towards the bedroom and then I would start feeling like someone is there watching me. Not good. <laughs> and it was, oh. like, very dark, ominous feelings. Um, it was not fun. Uh, and be then... Being, being watched would not be fun at all. No. <laughs> well, like, there's nothing there. Nope. There's nothing in the room. I would just be alone feeling like someone's there. E exactly. <laughs> so, um, and then the events happen. And I swear to you that these are, I can't tell if, they're kind of like between sleep paralysis to me and ghost, but I swear it's more so real life ghost event because it's just, I don't know, it's very fishy of how these came to be. But I basically, I'm trying to remember, sorry, rain. Um... One night, after came, coming home from hanging out with Charles, I was just sitting in my room. I went to bed at a decent time. I didn't have anything like sugar or anything. I was just, I was going to bed. I slept. Um, it was a time that we had visited a, a, another graveyard. And after that, I just went home. And I... Woke up. I woke up at 3.33 a.m. again. And it was a full moon. And I feel like full moons have, like, the strongest energies of, like, the supernatural. I don't know why. I, that's, just, that's just how I feel. But I, when I woke up, I was frozen. I could not move. Um, oh, shit. Sleep paralysis? Uh, yes. Paralysis. So this was like the sleep paralysis event. I know this was sleep paralysis because um, I could not move, but my room was normal. And <laughs> in my previous dreams, um, there the ones about the murder was there is this seven foot person that would... And I, I mean seven foot, this guy was gigantic. It was just a black mask that would chase my family members around and murder them, basically. Um, when I woke up, I couldn't move. I was facing my nightstand, um, which is exposing the whole entire view of my room. Um, and uh, normally we have the living room lights not the living room sorry hallway lights on and normally i have my door closed because i feel safest when my door is closed i cannot leave my door open when i'm sleeping um just because i get very paranoid as it is when i leave my door open i don't know why don't ask me i just close my door no i'm the same way <laughs> yeah, yeah, so <laughs> I wake up frozen and I could tell that my door is open because the blinding freaking light of the hallway, and it's a white blinding light, 
um, is exposing my room. I'm like, okay, what is this? This is, why did, did, why did someone open my room? Do my bedroom door, like, please don't. And I couldn't move to go pick, uh, move it up. Here's the thing. Then I started hearing some weird stuff <laughs> happening. So remember the guy, the seven foot guy? I started hearing boots, heavy ass, dirt, dirty, um, dirt, like not dirty, um, metal, the um, working boots, the huge, the big clunky ones that guys would normally go work in when they wear them. I started hearing that, slamming around on the floor. Like, they would stomp on the floor. You could hear them very loudly. Um, and my mom is in the living room, the big living room that we have, sleeping. My dad is sleeping, and my brother is in his room, but it, you, you, you have to walk through a bedroom to get to his room. So, that's the thing. They're stomping, and then... I just hear, and you could, for some reason during this, I could tell that it's a huge, tall figure, the like a seven foot figure stomping around the house, and this figure was angry. I'm not kidding. This black mass figure, whatever it is, mm -hmm. is angry, and it's just stomping down to my basement. Um. And then I start hearing, like, just weird drumming downstairs. And then the guy screams very loudly, like it's shaking the house. I hear a door slam. And then it stops. It's like, it feels like some sort of, like, phasmophobia shit. That's what it basically is. But it's not. It's like... Ugh. It still freaks me out to this day. What are you guys doing? <laughs> we are <laughs> transcending. <laughs> we are ascending. You join us. You want don't me worry. to join you? Yeah, don't forget to join. I, mean, no, no, okay. I, can't, I can't move from the seat now if because okay. of my shift. Everyone's gonna fall. Did we get everyone? <laughs> Wait, no, please over there. Lee, can um, you take a of us? Let's go. Lee, take a screenshot. Lee, take a screenshot of us. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hi. My my story is almost time. over. I promise. My story is almost over because it leads into the real life. It leads into the real life situation that happened. Oh, yeah. Feel free to um. Leave. So that happens, and I've never had sleep paralysis in my life. It never happened before. Um. I wait. I finally get the chance to move after the guy disappears and the boots are gone and all that stuff. All that crazy horror nonsense. And. I get up. I bolt my ass up because it felt like someone had invaded the house and literally like just started stomping through like they were re ready to murder my entire family. That's what it felt like. <laughs> I stomp. I, I, I rush to my dad's bedroom, which is right next to mine. And I'm like, I open the door. And I'm like, dad, did you hear that? Someone's in the house. And he's like, no, I didn't hear anything. Well, I was like, I st still think someone's in the house. Please just go. Can you check around? He's like, I'll listen if I hear someone. And I'm pretty sure he just fell back asleep because he did not hear anything, apparently. And I don't know if it's just because he was deep in sleep or what, but you could... I'm pretty sure if you heard someone invading your house, you would legit um, go check it out, right? You would get up and you would yes. hear it from um, sleep. So I don't know what that was about, but... Um, that happened. And then, so, some, a weird thing that I'm pretty sure happened in real time, not sleep paralysis. I woke up, um, around midnight this last time, and I was wide awake. I was conscious, okay? There was no sleep paralysis because I could move. Um, I sit up. And I start noticing something weird in my doorway. Um, my mom is not home at the time. But my dad is. And I don't have any sisters. I just have two brothers and my dad and my mom. But my mom was not home. She was at my aunt's. I look over at the door and it's the hallway light is off. Which I was like, okay, hallway lights never turn off in our house. <laughs> 
they always usually stay on, but nowadays we turn them off because the light is too bright. Um, but at the time, it was always on. This light is off. And I just start seeing a hand, a, a black shadow mask hand, opening this door. It kind of like grabs the, um, I don't know words, but it kind of grabs the door handle thing on the edge um, and then pushes it open slightly. And I was like, who is that? Like, I, I vo voiced it out loud. I was like, who's there? Um, the door opens, and I just see this woman sitting there. Okay? And this woman at first looked exactly like my mom, except there was one thing off about her. This woman. It's the fact that she had long hair. And... It felt like it... Whoever's uh, sneezing, uh, bless you. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> that was my mom in the background. <laughs> oh no. In the bless other room. Rachel's mother. But basically, um, this figure is looks like my mom at first, but then it kind of like more seems to something that's not my mom, and it's a black mass figure. It, I can, I'm, I'm breathing, I'm awake, and I'm conscious, and I'm seeing this figure. And then I don't know what happens after that because I can't remember exactly. But I think after what happened after I hold on, I'm trying to brain work. What happened was. It just was standing there, and then it kind of, like, walked toward me. And then right after that, I just woke up. And it was day. Oh, just like that? Just like that. Because that's all I remember. But I swear to you guys, I was awake. Because <laughs> you know why that feeling. That me, why does that remind me from Caroline of the other mother? Coraline? Or Coraline, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. I swear to you guys, though, that I was awake during that entire thing, and I swore it looked like my mom at first, except the figure ended up having really long hair. And it was not my mom. <laughs> and that freaked That's me out. Ever since then, my house, my, my room specifically has, when I don't like being in my room alone for a long period of time, uh, and I took down my mirror because ever since then, I felt like in my doorway, like specifically the door, if you look hard, hard enough at night, I feel like there's some sort of like mass that kind of forms like a dark darkness in the door. And I took down my mirror because I felt like it amplified it. And my, my aunt, who is actually, a, uh, I think she said psychic somewhere around there, who actually can, like, see ghosts and stuff like that, she said, like, like sometimes mirrors can, like, make dark negative energies, like, strengthen, and they're, like, portals and stuff like that. Uh, and, oh yeah, I thought yeah. they were windows and shit. Windows, portals, and strengthen negative energy, I believe, but I'm not quite sure. But, um... I don't have a mirror in my room anymore because of that. <laughs> so, yeah, that happened. Uh, and there, there, there. it still freaks me out to this day. And I, the sleep paralysis thing, I never had it again after that. Because I never went with my friends to the places again. So, take that with you what you will. I'm hopping off now. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Hey. Let's go. Hey. Hey. There we go. But yeah, take that, take that oh with God. what you will. Oh, Thank you. That, 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 oh, was that, was good. That, that was good. That experience yeah. to this day with the sleep paralysis and my dreams leading up to the sleep paralysis and then Tara. the actual thing happening still freaks me out. So. <laughs> That's way the next two. Tara. <laughs> I Who else hasn't told a story yet? Uh, I think Noise said that they were gonna go after you. I can go. I don't. I'm, you got this, Noi. I believe in you. Sorry, I was making a really sick beat right there. Mine's just very beautiful. short. <laughs> um, but so basically, uh, on our journey back from uh, a beach 
over I think it was in, like somewhere in the border of like Massachusetts and Vermont. I'm a um and basically on our way back we it was like starting to be like close to ten o'clock at night. We were already halfway home. Oof. And we had to stop halfway on the north way, which that's what we call up here in the north. Um which it's just the highway. Uh, we had to stop on the side of the, like, the side of the road because, uh, if, I don't remember fully, but me and my s sister, we looked over straight, right at the road, and we saw a full-on apparition running down the road, and I'm sitting here like, did you see that? And Oof. after that day, after I saw it, I started like believing a little more and whatnot, but my sister to this day will not agree that she saw it. And I had another experience. Experience. Uh, I was on call with two of my friends, and we were up to like three, four o'clock in the morning. Um, and. One of my friends caught, you know how there's a dog filter on uh, Snapchat, right? Yeah. Uh, you know how sometimes it can catch some things? Para! Oh. Para! It's Para. Could you imagine if Para didn't do that? <laughs> oh, much. Yeah, so. Imagine that. First, my yeah, that'd friend. Be creepy. Like, my friend catches, uh, like, something using like that filter and then right after it my closet door just decided to just fall down onto the ground i'm sitting here like i'm not over there like, like fall down wait like yeah it fell down onto the ground like full on fell off my where i had it staying. the hinges uh the hinges were already broken i was like leaning against and it pushed the opposite direction where it was leaning against. Oh, and nothing was over there at that time. I knew none of my cats were in the room at the time. Because all of my cats stay up with my grandmother. Um, But it was like freaky at the time. And it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Like we were all up half like half asleep and whatnot. It's always at the sleepovers, man. Yeah, it, it, we were, it wasn't even yeah, sleep, it wasn't morning. even a sleepover. We were on call, like FaceTime, like Face call or whatnot, and it was just the three of us too. Oh. Yeah, and just like all the stuff happened, and I'm like, "What the hell is going on?" And like, I haven't talked to them in like over a year or so. Uh. It wasn't because of that, like, because of that, it was just because of some small little drama in there, and, like, we haven't had, like, any communication after that, but I'm still good friends with them, but that's pretty much it. Huh. I might have had, like, when I was also younger, I also, uh, had night terrors. My parents uh, would come in and calm me down because of the night terrors. Apparently, I'm not the only one in my family who gets the night terrors. My sister also got the night terrors. Mm. Around the same age as I got my night terrors. No one in my family gets those. At all. So, <laughs> They're not fun. It's just... Get... I, it's just I never get thought. night terrors, ever. I don't get them. Yeah. Night terrors are... Definitely creepy as hell. Especially when you have something scream in the middle of the night into your ear, waking oh, up yeah, in a no. panic attack. Oh my god, that was spooky as shit. Out. Yeah. Was, yeah. I, looked, I looked at the time when that what happened. It was actually 3 o'clock in the morning. Ah, uh, the witching hour? Like 3.03 in the morning. That's what Why is 3 o'clock in the morning? I don't get it. It always happens at 3. Well, well it's uh, a. <laughs> basically, basically, in some. In some aspects of mythology, in certain religions, 3 a.m. is known as the witching hour. 
It also where, yep. where the activity is the most highest. I know 333 though, the number 333 is like a guardian angel kind of thing. So mm -hmm. maybe while I was in those states of mind experience, there was a the reason why it didn't affect me too much is because it basically there was probably a guardian guardian angel somewhere. I don't mm -hmm. know. It was but protecting you from the tall man. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Um Beast like man, those. that is a very concerning comment. Give me your liver. I refuse. Thank what? you. Can I have Wait, it? What? what? I don't know if I should <laughs> ban this person. Can I have it, please? I don't know if I should ban this person or not, but give me your liver. That's Who a very interesting first time chat. It's Beast Fan 6000. Who oh. are you? I don't Sorry. know, but I'm, I'm used to. Like, I'm used to having to deal with people's chats where they literally demand uh, livers and kidneys. It's great. Oh, God. No. I will not give you my little yeah. photos. I you. also um, know some history around where I live, like, where my house is. Uh, apparently, so, if I walk in, like, the backyard of my house, there's no actual, like, yard. It's full-on woods in the back. And there's just stone wall that you can see left over from a house that burnt down many years ago and what my dad told me is that uh there was a father and like i think it was like three daughters or something three or two dollars two or three daughters and the father was like an alcoholic and then i don't know what happened to them uh because my dad doesn't want to give me details of what happened because he heard this story but um apparently they probably all did not make it from that fire that yeah, happened I must have burned. so it's just creepy that i have a house behind me that possibly had some people in it my justice yeah they'll probably hang around here hello oh. yikes Oh, well. Hey, wait, oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. It's pretty interesting. That's a great oh. story. Are you going to help me with your favorite rocket ship? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll just Yay. say something real quick. I'll just I'll just share a couple of small things. Oh. It's more lighthearted because I haven't had any actual real experiences with ghosts. Um, oh, lighthearted. But... We love that. That's yeah. Boy. So at, fire. when I um at my house where I lived at, at college, I had these uh, little battery operated uh, fairy lights around my bed, and sometimes Aww. they would just kind of flicker on and off, um without me uh turning it on. So that was fun. Um, I considered there was a ghost in specifically in that room, and I tried to make friends with it. Um, what else? There was a supposedly a haunted locker at my uh, elementary school. Oh. Don't remember much with that. Um, I, goodness, what else? I had a third one. Uh, I forgot it, but yeah, that was kind of the main one. I haven't really had, all of these are like actual <laughs> scary stories and it's just like, oh, there's a little ghost turning my lights on and off. Oh. Sometimes okay. it be like that. Sometimes it be like that. Sometimes yeah. those are the best ones, though. Like the more lighthearted <laughs> ones are the best ones because yeah. it's like, oh, hi. yeah, it's I go some. Yeah, mostly, mostly with my stuff, it's been just been like bad energy. Like some places that I've lived just had just bad energy. Oh, um, I have a, a bad energy house that I could tell you guys later, but um, go ahead and continue. Sorry. Yeah, but it had like nothing to do with the ghost. It was, I think there was like mold somewhere, but yeah. Yeah. My family Ooh. kept on getting really sick all the time. Uh, Asbestos, just... my beloved. We, yeah. President Dino. yeah, something similar to that. So we just Ew. tried to get out of there as soon as we could. Yeah, that's weird that. Even though it's just, maybe it's the mold or whatever, but still, getting sick all the time in that house would be... Who? Yeah. Noi! Noi? Noi, let's be one with the fire. Para had, a, had, a, oh, yeah. had another story? Yeah, yeah, yeah Para, yeah. what's your story? Alright, okay, so this um, actually happened not like not, not too long ago. Um, so I, oh? I visited this cave. <laughs> Um, not a cave. <laughs> a cave. 
so there's this cave, right? Um, I visited it like um, like about a month ago, um, and it was a really cool cave. Um, there was a greenery, um, and there was also like dripstone and stuff. Um, um, but apparently, like Minecraft. Got... Minecraft gives <laughs> <clips> something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Minecraft wow. Took a selfie with the warden. No clickbait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But apparently, um, there uh, there was a murder down there. Uh, oh, so oh, like, that took a turn. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. delightful. Uh, Normal Tuesday. Uh, so like there was like green group and like a sound would play, uh, and Nova. Yeah. Hi. Uh, the the the, in, the accident wasn't your fault. Fuck. I hate this. <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> you have to like run out of Para. Oh my god. <laughs> that was good, Para. That was good. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm sorry. Oh, I hate I my life. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, is that, was that the the ghost story then? Was yeah, it, the it was story? like the story of how you killed my slime. And the ghost story. Murder. <laughs> What oh my god. <laughs> true story indeed. Very it was a very true story. <laughs> so true that it happened in Minecraft. Let's go. Uh, uh, tell this one story about the bad house thing, because uh, I still didn't like this house. I don't ever want to go back. I kind of want to just to see it now. Maybe it got fixed up. But basically, my parents were really into this one house that they wanted to buy. And it was right next to a graveyard. Now, at the time, my young bird was like, graveyard's bad let's not move near them because i was like six or five i don't remember but this house i tell you what it was two stories and my parents liked the graveyard part because my dad was like uh they're the most quiet neighbors ever like <laughs> sure um but basically this house i don't know why i just didn't want to live there and i think my mom caught on she was like yeah we're not gonna uh, live in this house if my daughter or kids just don't like it. But basically, there was a hole. There was a whole ass hole in the floor above, like the first, the second floor. Like you could see down to the uh, second floor. Uh, just bad vibes. It was like it kind of looked very dark and uh, grim, like inside too. And it just the fact that it was near a graveyard too. Not sit does not sit well. <laughs> But that was basically it. That was that. So, bad vibes house. Bad <laughs> love vibes those. house. Bad, bad, bad vibes. Yeah. Um. So that was that's the house. You guys all have very interesting stories. Check. Oh yeah. Oh true. Oh, I'm having fun. Bunny. <laughs> yeah. I have a, I have a proposition. Does anyone in anyone's chat? have an experience that you guys would like to share. Should we let our chat oh, share yes. an experience? I think I, I think my I think my chat has been talking about stuff. Did I scare you? <laughs> yeah, well, if you guys have experiences, now would be the time to tell us. My chat's uh, been dead, so I can't even. <laughs> I don't think I have same. a chat. <laughs> okay. It's Honestly, okay. I'm surprised I even have Oh, Galaxy has a ghost. Go for it. Okay, Galaxy, let's hear it. Uh, and then okay. I think Grandpa Alexander in my chat has eight ghost stories, so we'll go with galaxies first. But so, dogs. I hear dogs. I hear. Yeah, it's from my side. I'm sorry. I apologize. You're okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, so Para, what's the ghost story from your um, chat side? Uh, Galaxy is currently sending it, so yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, we have more stories. Little short stories. Oh. Yes. Uh, Let's hear him. Okay, so the first story. one is um, well, it happened actually this like past like spring, like it was in March, like this March, and I went on a like cruise to Cozumel, and uh, I think some other place in Mexico. Hey, I don't remember where. I think it might have been. I don't remember. Um. Anyway. Um. At this place, there was like these. It was like, like a city, but it was abandoned and stuff. And it wasn't the Mayan ruins. Um, it was something else. But basically, there was this like long, like, water tour thing that we did. 
and we swam through these this cave system. And um, whenever we got into the cave system, our tour guide told us a story about how, like, basically this is where, like, back in, like, the, you know, the times when witches and stuff were, like, oh, ooh, spooky, um, that's where they, they drowned them. They would drown them in this, like, well system. And so, um, like, if you looked down in the water, like, it was really crystal, really pretty water. It was awesome. Um, but, like, if you looked down, you could actually see, like, bones and stuff. It was really creepy. Um... <laughs> Oh and my. so, um, I was swimming, and I don't particularly know how to swim. I'm not actually the biggest fan of water at all. Um, but, you know, I couldn't stay out of it because it was the only way to get to, like, the next part of the tour. So, um, I kind of, like, just floated along very unhappily. <laughs> but Ooh. at one point, I, like, felt something grab my ankle. And I didn't really think much of it at the time because, like, you know, there are fish and all this other stuff. But, um... Like, later on, whenever we got out of, like, the, like, well type thing? I don't know what to call it. It was, like, a water place. Whenever we got out of the water place, um, we were on the bus going back to our, like, destination where our, our sh uh, cruise ship was parked. And, um, I heard other people talking about how they also felt, like, someone or something grab at their ankles. And so, oh. woo, spooky. Um, and then... My second story is when I was little, um, this is just like a little thing. I don't really know like how up to date this is, or I guess I can't really, can't really confirm this cause you know, I can't remember this. But when I was like real little, like, like a baby, um, apparently my parents would sit and like, this would happen for hours on end and I would just sit and I would talk to nothing in my room. And maybe that's just like me being a baby dumb dumb baby you know but it was like my parents say because you know they're like super big believers of the paranormal and they were like you know they are convinced that i was talking to something or someone in my room because um at the time i had like this little like like a you know the thing that hangs on top of baby cribs uh cradle no yeah. um no like, wait, yeah, no, like one of the um, one of the spinning one, one, things one of, one that, of those things, yeah, yeah. Maybe. babies play with yeah. yeah well i didn't have it on my cradle but i had it on the wall and it would like it was like uh like flying pigs and it made noise and stuff and my parents never no. turned it on because like you know it was they just never have like a reason to turn it on so they just like let it sit there and like you know slowly spin around on its own like however it pleased um but they claim that like occasionally they'd walk in my room and it would be on and it'd be spinning and it would be like making noise and stuff and i would be sitting in my room and i'd be talking to something under the cradle thing what? Ooh. Ooh. Creepy. Okay, uh... The dogs so... don't like the ghost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... yeah, obviously my dog does. <laughs> does Galaxy has hers ready? Or wrote, wrote hers out? Or can I tell Grandpa Alexander's uh, real yeah. quick? Galaxy just sent their letter. Their okay. Letter. Then I'll, I'll tell Grandpa Alexander's. <laughs> Alright. All right. Uh, okay, so... This is from Galaxy. Um, so my grandparents used to live on a farm that contained an abandoned house on the property. This house was broken apart. It was old and abandoned. One night when my sisters were visiting, my middle sister heard something outside during the night. So she went to go investigate. At the top of the stairs on the second floor, you could see the abandoned house clearly. When my sister when my sister got over there, she saw a man fall off the balcony of the old house. Uh, oh, Galaxy's still writing. Ooh, whoops. Uh, yeah, Galaxy's still writing right now. Oh, okay. Hey, Jen. Hey, Ray. Welcome. Actually, okay. I'll reread it. Just well, read. Done. Just read Grandpa's first. You slash you want me to read? Okay. Campfire. Yeah, yeah, hi, Jen. Read Grandpa's first, and then I'll read Josh's. Alright. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I got it. I'll, like, see his skins. Okay, so Grandpa Alexander mm -hmm. says his is more of, like, a sleep for- Oh, sorry. I- Camp- oh, no, Camp- <laughs> Get out of the water! Don't die! Don't die! Fire! Fire! <laughs> Anyways, Don't die so in the fire! This, Come on, we can't is, die again. Uh, We're ghosts. This is Grandpa mm -hmm. Alexander, so Where he- <laughs> He, they, the I, I'm not sure what they go to, uh, by. Sorry if I mis, uh, pronounce pronouns. Uh, but Grandpa Alexander said mine was basically I woke up at three exactly three a.m. So kind of similar to what some of us. I know it's always at three a.m. What the fuck? Um, he said I have a 
an alarm clock just close enough to visible uh, view and and to see and it's time and anyway, sorry butchered that my apologies he said but it's just far enough to not be reached this sleep paralysis is why i say it was a nightmare nightmare feel because i was sleeping over with my little sister he said i saw I saw what almost began to look like she was being dragged until my sleep paralysis wore off. It was actually happening, yet nothing was there to drag her. Just air. Or it looks so. And she was being dragged by something until it rushed out of bed. uh, Until I rushed out of bed to save her and helped her back down. Whatever this thing was, it seemed to step back when my sister was was saved by me as if it was backed away er, nearly right after. As, as if it backed away nearly right after. <laughs> oh no! Sorry, I wasn't saying oh no for that. I was saying oh no because he got ads, I think. Um, but, ooh, that sounds creepy. Seeing a loved one being like dragged away. Oh, yeah. oh. That's a no, I, have a, I have a little something here from one of my viewers say, uh, named Cryptic Moonrise, but they go by yeah. Cheese. Crazy um, Cheese. The, yeah, it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's very short. It's very short, but they say, uh, I just found out from my parents ever since I was able to talk, uh, I could see spirits. So now I can confirm that I'm not hallucinating this stuff. I said this to C oh. bit yesterday at my friend's house. I saw a tall, almost see through blonde woman with long white uh, with a long white dress for a few seconds run at my friend then i had a headache for the rest of the day Ooh. Ooh. and the ones i see and the ones i see they're nice Mm -hmm. they just like watching one will just run fast uh fast by you huh interesting oh I've got a, I've got I've got a second story if anybody wants to listen to that while uh hey, yeah Gafi just finished theirs. Okay, 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 go ahead, go ahead, I'll go after this. All right, so uh, I'll just start from the very beginning. Yeah, so my grandparents so my grandparents used to live on a farm that contained an abandoned house on the property. This house was broken apart, it was old and abandoned. One night when my sisters were visiting visiting, my middle sister heard something outside during the night. So she went to go investigate. At the top of the stairs from the second floor, you could see the abandoned house clearly. When my sister got over there, she saw a man fall off the balcony of the old house. She ran outside to see if the guy was okay, but the man was completely gone. No sign of a man even being there, even being there. My grandfather told my sister that the owner of the house before it was abandoned had one day walked in front, walked in from the working field to find his wife in the bed with a farm hand. In the man's anger, he, sh- he shot the farmhand off the balcony with his shotgun and banished his wife to go to the house with the farmhands with the farmhands she loved so much. The farmhand's spirit still haunted the old house. The farmhand's spirit haunted the old house until the lot was bulldozed. And yeah. What the heck? <laughs> Ooh, that, that's, that is ominous, I'd oh, say. Yeah. Very, that's very ominous. Yeah. What was uh, the second one you had, Justice? Okay, so um, obviously I talked about I, I I talked about earlier about this uh this dark shadowy entity or something that you know obviously I saw and all that stuff, but uh, this one's a little more lighthearted because of the fact that I've told this to a lot of people and a lot of people, including my mom and them, think it was a uh, possibly a guardian angel or something like that. But um, yeah, you've heard this story, Kim, but these guys haven't, so. Um, essentially, um, this happened right around the time that I was 10 years old and we, this was a year before we moved out of my sister's dad house, dad's house. So yeah, this is like around the same area that we lived in, in the first story. And so, um, what had happened was, is, um, the, the, the anchor village and whatnot is like, like the neighborhood is surrounded by certain areas. Uh, there's, there's a large, there's like large cornfields nearby, but there's also some forested areas. And something that my, me, me and my brothers would do is that we would, uh, so we would always just go out there and mess around in the woods and all that stuff, particularly during the day, because none of us had the guts enough to go at night. And so I used to do a lot of stuff out there. 
Um, one thing I used to do was I used to do a, a lot of camping, solo camping that I did for myself. And yes, I did this at the age of 10. So it's mm. very interesting to see me just set up a random camp in the woods nearby. <laughs> but I like I, I like camping and whatnot. So, you know, it's it, it's a thing I do. Um, but particularly on this one uh, day, there was a there was a little bit of an incident that happened involving me run running face first into a tree. And so obviously when you run face first in a tree, it's you're going to get injured and all that stuff. So, yeah, that ended up happening to me because me and my brothers were playing uh, hide and seek tag. And so I had actually accidentally ran into a tree and hit my head really badly and it caused caused me to have like the first ever nosebleed ever in my life and so you know i i fell to the floor you know i felt a little dazed and whatnot but primarily my nose was bleeding a lot so i instinctively my brother um one of my brothers saw what happened panicked a lot and didn't know what to do about it so he instructed my other brother who was there to um I'm going to shoot you with this crossbow. <laughs> Anyways. Sorry. They, they had instructed my other brother to go um, fetch help. And so my oldest brother at the time, who, you know, the other brother uh, instructed to do something about it, um, he had gotten his first uh, phone. So instinctively, he went over to where he could get a signal and he, he called an ambulance. He called 911 because, you know, our house was a little far away, so if he were to run over to the house and all that stuff, um, it would instinctively take them a while, and all that, uh, and all that jazz. So there was no time to go get them for help. So we, they had to call the cops. So oh. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting, I'm sitting there dazed a little bit, out of my mind and whatnot. And so next thing you know, uh, my bro one of my other brothers is there, and my brother who had called the cops he comes back and he basically said they'll he said they're he said it's going to be a while before they get here so like you know we gotta we gotta do everything we can to help our brother out who's on the floor and bleeding from his nose so what they did is they they first and foremost they needed to stop the bleeding so that's what they did and um what makes this story a little more strange is the the circumstances that happened uh that happened in a sequence of events so Obviously, my brother had claimed that the ambulance wasn't going to be there for like a while, per perhaps maybe 15 to 30 minutes, Nova, which is a, which is. Nova. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to eat cake. <laughs> Sorry, continue, <laughs> Justice. It's not Anyways. letting me eat anything. Anyway. Well, because peaceful, yeah, peaceful. because oh. because it's in peaceful. Yeah, it's in peaceful. Exactly. Now it's not. Well, now mom's just gonna spawn. Anyways, continue. continue. I would continue if you stopped jumping into the fire. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Because I can't, I can't continue if you just, if I'm just gonna keep hearing you step on I'm done, I promise. I'm done, I promise. I certainly hope you are, because I'm ready to aim another <laughs> bolt at you. Do what I can. Okay. Nope. <laughs> do not do They're that taken. i'm gonna die <laughs> someone's gonna die today and become a ghost anyways um okay anyways continuing where i left off okay so obviously ambulance was called it was gonna take about 15 to 30 minutes to get there and that's not necessarily a good thing especially if you have someone who's losing a lot of blood so in this circumstance what was happening to me is I was feeling a little dizzy and whatnot because obviously blood loss will do that to you. And so I had closed my eyes for just a few oh, seconds. Great. No, I'll put it back to peaceful, please. Oh man, that was truly Thank hell you. now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what I had, uh, so what had happened was, uh, next thing I did is I closed my eyes and whatnot because I was just, I was, I was praying at the time that you know this wouldn't get any worse than it already is because this is a, like a real life-threatening situation and all that stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> the. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. So what had happened next was, uh, what had happened next was, is I opened my eyes very slowly, and what I see is not my brother, not my brothers who are right next to me. What I see in particular is, um, well, my brothers weren't around me anymore. This was really, really strange. 
And so I, I think I forgot to tell you that detail, Cam, when I told you the story. But basically, when I opened my eyes, my brothers were not around me anymore. It's oh. like, which was very scary because at first I thought, am I dead? Oh, no. <laughs> because that, 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 oh. Seems, that seems like a very, very, like a very, like, you know, scary moment where you, like no one's around ah. you and it feels like you've just died or something. So instinctively, I panicked about it. But what caught my attention the most is the fact that there is someone sitting in the tree that was that I had just hit like a minute ago. There was someone sitting on a branch looking down at me and I could not make out their facial features, but I can tell it was a man. And much like much like the figure that, you know, I saw in the first story, this one was pitch black, but this one didn't have a mist around it. It had some sort of a glow to it. And so instinctively i thought you know who the hell is that who's watching me and next thing you know i end up like i end up closing my eyes again and then my brothers are snapping their fingers trying to wake me up you know they're slapping me in the face and everything and they're just and, and, and i and i asked them like how long has it been and they're like you've been passed out for like 40 seconds not even a minute and then something very coincidental happens at that very moment an ambulance arrives right then oh. and there oh. remember remember they said it was going to take about 15 to 30 minutes to get there but no i've only been passed out for 47 seconds or something like that not even a minute and there's an ambulance right there and so you know they hook me up they hook me up bring me to the hospital my parents come and you know they're freaking out asking what's going on and all this stuff and so like you know again me and my mom got to talking and I told her about what I had seen, and she she ultimately told me about the concept of guardian angels. And so she basically tells me that, you know, perhaps you seeing your guardian angel meant that, you know, this was a sign that they were going to help you sooner than you think. Because when, like, the concept of guardian angels is that they show up in your time of need. And it makes a lot of sense for this situation because, you know, I was in dire need of medical assistance and... You know, if if I would have just stayed there, I would have probably died, essentially. Right. So to this day, have no idea what what it was. I've never seen it again. I haven't had an experience. My mom has allegedly told me that I have seen this figure more than once, but I can honestly not remember what it, what are the times she's talking about. This is the only one that I've that I've known. So. So yeah, that's my story of an alleged encountered with a uh, an angel of some sorts. Interesting. Wow. Jen, so, yeah. <laughs> Jen, since you're here, do you have a story before we end tonight, or? Uh, yeah, I, I, I got a, I got a story. Um, can it be any story, not just um, uh, stories that you've experienced uh, IRL? As long as it's IRL, yes. Like it's oh. like someone you might know or something. That's fine. But uh, who has had the experience? It's fine. Um, but as long as it's like kind of like real life, and not like oh, a creepy yeah. or stuff like that. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. Dude, I, I, um. I, 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 well, this story is kind. Of, well, the story. Yeah, it is real life, but it's not. Um, from my um point of view. Oh uh, yeah. Um, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Well, um, I've been a bit interested in um, you know, a couple of ghost stories, but one of them is like unopened doors around the world you know doors that haven't been opened or can never be opened because of supposed bad events that'll happen if doors are set open mm -hmm. um but one of them in particular is in Benef springs uh canada mm -hmm. um okay. there's a hotel and uh, this hotel has uh, pretty much like everything going for it it's beautiful it has a nice view all that jazz um but it's missing a room. That room in particular is room 873. And that's because that room has been sealed off. Because if you walk down that hallway and you look, you look uh, to your left or your right, you'll notice that there's just a large empty space where a door would normally be, but there isn't. And um, there's actually absurd, there's a story behind um, said room 873. Um, supposedly, in 1928, an incident happened where a couple and their daughter checked into the hotel, but 
none, they both didn't make it out uh, alive oh. of the hotel. Because oh, around nighttime, the father killed his wife, his daughter, and then killed himself. And oh, then afterwards, cool. there were there were a whole bunch of incidences that came from room 873 where people complained about screaming and bloody handprints on the mirror, all that jazz. Oh and so to stop that, the room was sealed off. And I, I kind of believe that room could still be there. Someone just got to knock down that door and, you know, um, well, knock down the wall first and then pry that door open. So it's a possibility someone could get that urge one day. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hey, yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's my story. Bro, Interesting. I, bro, like I said, I would never fuck with a supernatural dude. Ever. <laughs> I have a... Take me on a journey. Well, y'all don't mess with the gang. I have a, I, I have a story from uh, Sage and Cure in my chat. If anybody wants to hear that. Like, yeah. How many more stories are we, do we want to tell? Maybe one more, and then after, I mean, unless Yuki joins us and would like to tell I, I think, a story. I think, but... I think Yuki said that they do have, yeah, they, they, they want to tell a story as well. Just so. okay. give me a minute, uh, I'm just starting my stream up. Oh, wait, okay. okay. <laughs> um, what, I can, what I can do here uh, to keep, you know, the stories going to want to, is that I can tell Seijin's story, and if there's... Uh, if you know Yuki's still starting up stuff, I can I can tell some urban legends. Yeah, well, that I, can, I've I have a small story too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because like I'm obviously... not gonna be able to stay around too much, but um, yeah, if we want to yeah. do your chat your chat story, oh, I'm sorry, your chat story real quick, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, um, I can do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Sage and Pure, who's one of my regular viewers, okay. um. They have. They said in my chat, one uh, one ghost little encounter I had was at my grandparents' house. We have this little ghost statue that turns uh, that turns on based off of motion, and it will do a little Happy Halloween. Um, it will do a little line like Happy Halloween. My grandmother got it around last year, and there is only three of us in the house: my dad, my grandmother, and myself. We're all in the living room chatting, and we hear the little ghost statue go off. My grandmother's face just smiles, and so does my father's, and I asked them, uh, is that who I think it is? And he nodded. It was my grandfather. Aww. I've been instructed to drink, damn it, by ghosty knees. Yeah, I'm gonna go to that. I love that story, <laughs> that's a, though. That's a sweet one. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. That's, that's pretty sweet. Okay, yeah. it looks like you can still gain start up, so I can tell mine real quick. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. So this is a this is not a chat one. This is more of a uh, personal one that happened. So um, sit back, relax, and enjoy another Saint Augustine ghost story. Hell Ooh. yeah, let's go! I told you about this one. So when yeah, I, I was when I was younger, um, with Florida, you have to do like um, Florida history, right? So you gotta learn everything Florida. So what they decided to do too was, you know what, Saint Augustine field trip is like one of the oldest places in Florida you can go to. So, um, for the people that were staying overnight, you had to attend this ghost tour, which I still find kind of hilarious due to the fact that it was a Christian school, but, eh, teach their own on that. Um, so, um, anyways, um, so we're just chilling. Um, we, me and my mom are there. We got a nice hotel. Um, we are waiting for the, uh, ghost tour to happen, and we get there. It's a walking one. I didn't like walking, but you know what? We do it. Um, so we're walking around. And I look over at the Castillo de San Marcos that's there. It's like this big fort and all that. Um, when there was war going on at the time. And I see a person on there. Like, I'm like, okay, that's normal. There's, yeah, a person could be on there, you know? Just vibing. So I'm like, we're by the graveyard at this time. Because there's a lot of graveyards in St. Augustine. So I look over, see a person over there. Look back to the graveyard. Look back up, the dude's gone. I'm like... I just, like, kind of let that um, go out of my hands because I'm like, yeah, but most likely an employee is cleaning up because they give tours of that area all the time. This is me back in fourth grade. Fast forward <laughs> to when Justin's with me and, like, we are about to go to St. Augustine again. And I find out that anyone that's in the Castillo de San Marcos at that time is not alive. And mm. it's very common to see um, ghosts of soldiers on the wall. Oh. And oh. the figure I did see 
was a man that looked like it, that had a hat on. And if I had gotten a better look at it when I was younger, it most likely would have been a soldier. And I just would not know. Yeah, I remember you. Uh, you told me that story before we were um, we were gonna go to Saint Augustine, and you had told me that you had seen someone like that, but you weren't sure if it was a ghost or not. And I had like the night before, I shit you not, like I had just read through some sources that it is a common occurrence for ghosts of the soldiers who had died in that fort to appear on that wall. Like it's a common occurrence. It's the most common ghost occurrence or ghost sighting you can have yeah. at the Casillo de San Marcos. And, it, it, and as soon as I told you that, you like were immediately shocked. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's Yuki! Also Yuki, your turn! Yuki. Hey, Jesus Christ. Okay, so not entirely sure if this counts. And I just started with Street Fighter, sorry. Um, I'm not sure that this counts, but this is something that I experienced my first encounter with uh, Justin when we were in a call. Oh, yeah. Is it I remember. Okay I, I, say this? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I, okay. I'll, I'll support this as well, yeah. Okay, so basically, Justice and I were in a call, like, any average day, um, you know, the usual. We were just talking about, like, the studio and junk and, like, everything else. We were just chilling. And then I saw, like, in the background, there was, like, a... Uh, Justice had a lot of props thing at the back, like, wooden, like, wooden swords or something, like, Minecraft, all that shit. One of his swords at the background moved a little bit, and, and then, like, uh, and then, like, it was, like... Yeah, just this. Well, yeah, just this, did that sword just move? And, like, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I thought I was like, because at that time I was also like sleep deprived, so I was just like, is my am I am I just just seeing that right? Or and then I told Justice about it, and then like uh, Justice said something. I forget what he said about it. Like, what was it that you said like about that? Because I, I I pointed it out. Like it was moving in the background. Um, uh, I think, well, first and foremost, for some context, um, the sword that she's talking about is a wooden replica sword that, that funny enough, I got at St. Augustine, Florida, uh, from the Fountain of Youth area. Um, so what she's talking about is, uh, we were in a call and she had seen the sword move in the background of my webcam and that wasn't in an that wasn't an uncommon occurrence because we had had several things happen in the house. I know Cam can attest to that oh, stuff. Oh yeah, I just don't want to talk about. Um, it. but what it what, what what was happening is the sword was moving in the background, and so I turned around and I looked at it, and I think the first thing I said was, "Is anybody there?" And then it started to move again, like and, and this time I was seeing it like with my very own eyes, and so and so I was I was just thinking I I I feel like I know who was doing it. And I did say their name, but for, you know, privacy reasons, I'm not going to say who I thought it was. But, you know, it started moving again and whatnot. And Yuki and like there was another person in the call. Um, yeah. They were they were really shocked to see all that happening. And me, I was just smiling and being all calm about it because I'm so used to this kind of stuff. And they're just freaking out and they're like, oh, my goodness, why aren't you reacting? And I'm just like, trust me, I've seen more than this. <laughs> yeah, this no, but that was the first that was the first spooky experience for me because it, it, it's like I, I like I believe in ghosts, but I haven't yet seen one in action and and whatnot. Oh yeah, um, there is another one though. If you will let me like um say it, because this yeah. is like, from my personal experience. So, so I live in like um Eastern Eastern Asia, right? Like I say, where it is just for privacy reasons. But for those that know, yeah, I was at my grandmother's house uh, years ago with my brother. And basically, we believe in these beings called, uh, called, uh, capres. They're like giants that smoke underneath, like, trees and shit. And then they're usually, like, alcoholics. Something like that. I, for I forgot the actual tale. But it is related to this. Um, my brother went outside because he wanted to get something from outside. Um, and then basically what happened was, um... He started smelling smoke. Now, oh. that was weird because nobody, it was nighttime at that time and nobody was burning leaves, right? Like, cause that's, that's something that, that's something that we do here. We burn leaves because like, you know, it's a lot more closer. And then my grandmother legitimately got up and told him, come inside and close the door right now. Oh. We have to close the door. So I was like, why, why, why do we have to close the door? 
So my brother just did what she was being told, uh, what he was being told, and went inside, and we had to lock the door. And then she brought us, like, into the living room, let us sat down, and basically told us, Did you see anybody burning leaves outside? Just in case, you know, like, it was, like, some, probably something. I was like, no. And she knows that the bakery nearby that usually, like, bakes bread doesn't really, like, cook shit at that hour. Yeah. So she legitimately told us, from here on out, from here on out, uh, on this night, today, do not go outside. And then I basically, and then she basically told me that, after that is, I think there might be a capre outside, do not go outside. Because it might take you. We were like small children too, which is usually like the victims of this supernatural being. So we got so scared. Because the thing is about capres is you're not supposed to disturb them, especially at their tree. And you would know this because underneath the tree there's like a bunch of trash. Because if you do, it might, you know, it's a giant, it might kill you, yeah? And... Yeah, and so, um... Yeah, so from that night on, we didn't go outside because we were too spooked to do so. So yeah, that's my experience. Ooh. With a uh, yeah, that was it was terrifying yeah, as a kid. Oh. Yes, about it. I oh, know. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. Oh my. Yeah, that's weird. That's One instance that's not mine that I can tell is so. We went on a very so I'll make this quick because I know some of us might have to leave. Yeah. But basically, yeah, I gotta get dinner. So, but no, yeah, yeah just go ahead. <laughs> we went to see Blackbeard's place in North Carolina when I was a little younger, and my I didn't go on this, but my mom and dad went on a ghost tour, ghost tour to Blackbeard's house, and they also saw this. Um, they saw this graveyard where a little girl supposedly died of yellow fever on a ship. Um, I cannot remember if it was Black one of Blackbeard's daughters or whatever. I can't remember. But basically, they went there to the graveyard, and it's common to see, like, things there, apparently. Um, and they what they do is normally they would leave toys at the grave um, of the little girl. And there was no kids there, I don't believe, from what my parents told me. Um, but my dad did take a picture of this, but he lost it because of the fact that the computer that we had was old and it died on us and we could not get it to turn back on. But basically, when they went there, my dad took a picture of the little girl's grave and there were <laughs> bubbles. <clears throat> There were bubbles floating above the little girl's grave, and the people would leave like little toys, like little bubbles and stuff like that. So it it was kind of weird, and I saw the picture of it. You could see the bubbles, and my dad was like, "Yeah, that was the little girl playing with the uh, bubbles in the picture." So that was, but that was pretty much it. So oh, okay, okay. yeah. <laughs> Like, what are you doing? There's an invisible someone, person. So, There's somebody invisible. attacking them. It's Bunny. Oh. <laughs> oh. I see the bubble person. There he goes. The it's, the it's, the, it's the ghost. Of, it's Bunny the ghost of the wild. Where did Bunny go? Bunny ran that way. Uh, well, I see particles. Bunny. It's time to do daylight cycle oh. day. Bunny's about to die. All right. I guess that's the end of the stories, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not um, bloodthirsty, so I'm not gonna kill right, one. Yuki, already, then. you're a little late, but Yuki, if you're gonna still stream, I will. I plan to raid you, so I hope. Yeah, I'm still gonna be streaming. Who's okay. Still, who's still gonna be streaming? After okay, this? buddy, I'm oh. gonna hunt you down. Yeah, who's gonna be still streaming? Should we just like, should we just um raid I'll see all if I can raid, raid Yuki? Well. Yeah, let's yeah, let's, let's see if we can all raid Yuki. Yuki. Let's all raid Yuki, okay? That'd be that'd be. Because, I'll be back. Because you're you deserve it. still going. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna go talk to my chat. Oh, and Sydney's still going? Oh. Yeah, I decided to stop keep on going. <laughs> okay, okay. Well I'm gonna I'm gonna at least raid um I'll... the fuck Yuki. But if you guys wanna raid um Sydney too, that's fine. Um But I have never raided raided Yuki, I believe, so I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna raid you. So yeah, we're gonna raid you're, you're on you're on, you're on Twitch, right? Yuki, right now? Yeah, I'm on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, on Twitch. yeah, yeah Yuki's on Twitch. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and off right. my stream.
I'm gonna All right, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go end my stream as well. I'm gonna be at the hey. All right. It was very yeah. fun. Right. Yeah, Thanks it was awesome hanging goodness. out with you guys. Wait, can we get a screenshot before everyone yes. leaves? Yes, 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 please. Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. All right, everyone yeah, yeah. by the campfire. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Everyone gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. Nope, this way. If we don't have yeah. room, get yeah. on yes, people's heads. Everyone get on, get in. Noise. Yes, yes, I'm going to have to boot you because I'm too short. There we go. Noise. <laughs> oh, oh, Sydney, jump on my head. I'm going to have to hop on Nova's okay. head. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll be over here. Where's Noi? Right Noi. No way. No way. Um, no way. He's right over there. Noi. Noi. No, he might be AFK. Oh. Oh. oh there he goes. Though. Okay, yeah. he's in the photo now. All right, All right guys, ready? Three, two, two one. one. Wait, Jed, Pineapples. Move over a bit. Okay. Pineapples. Other way, other way, Jed. I can't Pizza. see you in my photo. Pineapples. Oh, no, no. Oh we God. Did, we did. Okay. <laughs> hey, hold on. Wait. One more. Three, two, one, and pineapple. Please. I'm gonna go and. Man, I got. I got All several. Right. Well, uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for coming out to stream. We're gonna go raid Yuki, so thank you guys so much. See you guys!